Let's go ahead and get it going again, y'all. All right, players, episode three. We are back right where we left off from before. If you didn't see the last episode, you already know what to do. Like, duh, why are you clicking on part three and didn't see part two? Come on. Let's go out to the parents whose kids won't make it home tonight. I'm invested in the character too, bro. In. This list? Please stay inside. <laughs> I'm like, hold on. I think Scott could actually have a second safe. point on the Oscar. And parents. But let me focus. Hold on. Extra tight tonight. Here's a song for the girl walking home in the dark. That is creepy. Um, we're going to let her listen to the late night lurkers. We had a call come in. That was nasty. I'm not gonna lie, that was nasty. Time to turn the music off. Oh, you, oh my God, you're very bossy, Black Peggy. Here. Listeners, we've got another caller live on 189.16, The Scream. What's on your mind, caller? Hey, Forrest, I just wanted to phone in and say that I think I speak for everyone when I say that you're providing a real service for Gallows Creek tonight. Okay, thank oh, you. Going, well, I'm just doing my job. Oh, we're starting off on a great anyway, note. Tell me about yourself. What's your name? Are you keeping safe tonight? Yeah, man, I'm good, thanks. I'm at my roller rink, trying to get everything ready for the Harvest Festival tomorrow. Okay. I had a guy from Starling Security here earlier installing the Starling 4000 system, so I'm a little behind. As for my name, my friends call me Roller Ricky. And okay. I now consider you a friend, my man. Let's go, Ricky. We're friends now, huh? Well, that's kind of you to say. Thanks. Yeah, man. Sounds like roller skating is more than just a job to you. So is this vocational? I wasn't always Roller Ricky. Once upon a time, believe it or not, I used to go by just Ricky. Yeah. Back then, things were pretty rough. <laughs> okay. I used to roll with a bad crowd. Ooh. Not all bad, but there was one guy. Anyway, uh... What the hell, right? You're down. on the air, bro. I harbored a lot of guilt for a long time and turned to the bottle. Yikes. I didn't really talk Scary. about it or, or even know how to talk. That's just how it was. Mm. That bottle took the best years of my life. Oh, no. Nah. Or so I thought. It's never too late, Roller Ricky. Peggy, how shut the hell up. Around? I'm in the middle. Of, like, let I the man get his... Group. I opened up about my problems. and Sharing that burden just took so much weight off. Mm. It's a long story from there, but I found Roller Disco. Mm. I learned how to have fun again. Cutting okay, loose, let's go. Shapes. Now, whenever I get down, I get down. <laughs> I'm finally free from it all, man. It's important just to talk to somebody. That's the first step. Ain't that right, Max? Oh, oh. oh hello, Max. Oh. Peggy, I promise you don't want to talk to you, Peggy. Oh! What's up, Max? Well, he certainly sounds like a good boy. Max is my emotional support dog. He's a rescue dog, but I always say he's the one that rescued me. He's the best dog a guy could ask for. That shit was of course, it. The first thing I did was teach him how to skate. He's better than me now, a real pro. Damn, he's Max a roller. Skate. Yeah, man. Roller skating dog. First they said it couldn't be done, and then they said it shouldn't be done. But Maxie loves the rink, man. <laughs> Is that another train, Maxie? Maxie loves trains, man. He's even got that special how to greet them. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like you two make a great pair. Uh, Maxie appreciates all the positivity you're throwing out, my man. You know, I'm actually hosting free skating lessons tomorrow at the festival. Okay. I think it's a great opportunity to give back to the community. We let this promo go. Ricky's man, a good dude. Man, talk of skating's got me itching for a boogie. Before I switch my radio off for the night, could I request a song for Absolutely. us? Absolutely. Something I can groove to, you know, something funky. It'll be me and Maxie's final boogie breakdown tonight. Then I think we'll take it down a level. I can do that. Thanks again for calling. You and Max, be safe now, okay? Bye, Maxie. Oh, you got it, man. Peace. Well, folks, this next one goes out to Roller Ricky and Max. Enjoy. Uh Uh Nah, that's not the right one. Oh gosh, the pressure's on. 
I better put a record on. Shut it. Hope you enjoy this one as much as I do. Imagine roller skating to this. I really needed that call, you know, after everything. Yeah, I get that. He talked a bit much for my taste, but it is inspiring to hear somebody come back from the brink like that. Yeah, that, that's what I meant. Oh, yeah, he's hitting that D to this. You he's were hitting that D. You about Max on skates, weren't you? Well, I don't uh, think I have any techno. Back. Another caller on the line. What are the odds? Better take it. Oh, yeah, this is that. This is that motherfucking. I have a caller waiting. <clears throat> it's one of them ones. Check, check. Check, check. Call waiting. Huh. Better take it. They might need our help. Take your pennies off. Baby girl, take them pennies off. Don't even forget about that bra. Uh. Say, take them pennies one. off. All right. Take them pennies off. Take them pennies off. Call her on line call one. Waiting. Welcome back to 189.16, The Scream. <laughs> oh, that, this was a he, that was a How heater. Good night, caller. I'm doing okay. She over I here dying. Gary! Hey, I, I just wanted to thank you for doing what you could earlier. You know, even though not everybody made it, and uh, I don't know. Hey, it's okay. You were Ooh. so brave earlier. You're safe now. I wanted to ask you why. Why he didn't? Why am I? Why what? Get it out. Why did he spare me? I don't know, Carrie. So I'm trying to did. think about the same thing. Why let me go? Maybe he only wanted to hurt the pranksters. I. Maybe. Did he just think everyone was making fun of yeah, him? Yeah, you were like. They always hate these hazing rituals. I, I mean. If he did. Ooh, he Why heard her say this shit's years? dumb and it's not funny. Why do this now? These stupid hazing nights have to stop. Carrie, you did so well tonight. Stay safe and rest. Help is coming to Gallows Creek. We just need to hold on. Okay. Thanks, Peggy. Hey, Forrest. Uh, could I request a song? Talk to of me, course, Carrie. Carrie. What you want? What song? Any song by Blast Processor. And thank you. This next one goes out to Carrie. Let's go, Carrie. <laughs> this next one goes out to Carrie. Take them panties you know, what off. What Carrie just said has really got me thinking. <laughs> About what? The whistling man left her alone. Why? <laughs> there must be a reason. When uh. it comes to masked whistling killers, I don't think a reason is a key part of their process. Well, it's something to consider. <laughs> I need to take a break. If you want to stretch your legs, now's the time. Let's go. Just hit the Peggy button when you want to get back on air. Okay, thank God. Damn, I thought I was going to play through the whole building. This sound like uh, when you type in on YouTube, like those songs, blah, 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 but then you're in the bathroom. Sounds like that the whole time. I actually listen to a couple of songs like that. Not like the whole song, cause it's like, what? But it's cool. Why does it give you that feeling of like, oh, I want to hear it so like, you know what I mean? It's kind of weird how it does that to you. Uh, so I don't really think there's anything else I need to explore around here. I just thought it'd be cool. I would really like to make some... 
coffee, but I don't think that's going to be a thing. What the hell is this? Just gonna be cleaning. That's all I'm doing. I'm just gonna be cleaning. I need a key to get in there. Out there, idiot. There's nowhere we can go down here still? Locked tight. It's kinda dumb if you if you ask me. Not getting in there tonight. All right, let's go. Just double check this. Yeah, let's go. We're out of here. We're starting. There's no point for me to BS out here. As I'm holding like a... Like, why am I holding this? Still can't go on the roof, right? Just wanted to check. Nothing wrong with checking. Let's get going, Peggy. Alrighty. We could run another segment or... Scratch that for us. We have a caller. I knew it. 189.6 through to 189.16 the scream what's your emergency hello again Forrest. Oh, that call with the teens was awful those poor kids still i'm i'm glad the girl didn't get hurt thanks for your concern are you in trouble what's on your mind i wanted to ask you again to play my song Forrest. you said you were gonna play it but you didn't your name was dawn right what peggy Oh, well remembered. My name is Don. We played and Blast I wanted Professor. To ask you again to play my tune, Forrest. Long Ride Home? You know, the one that Peggy said she threw outside the window? I'll play a track for you, Don, but maybe pick another one? We don't exactly have that one in rotation right now. No. Forest. You do have it. It's just outside the window. There's a serial killer on the loose. I can't just go outside hunting for a record. I'm really sorry, Don, but we just can't get it right now. But wasn't the whistling man just at the old murder house? That's miles from the station. It won't take a second to grab it. Don, I'm He's fast. not sure if you've heard. <laughs> He's but very fast. Something unnatural about this freak. He's he's fast. I'm not risking it. Oh, but I think you will. Forrest? Peggy, I'm... I'm calling with more than a request. I know something. I think I know who's gonna be next. What? Are you serious? Play my song, Forrest. And you'll find out. <sighs> well, folks, here's some music for you while I think things over. All right, let's see what, what I'm going to hit him with. Uh, I'm going to hit him with some smooth word. Enjoy this classic by Smooth. It's their hit song, The Word. Now, what the hell, Peggy? Is she serious, Peggy? She's serious about hearing that song. Peggy, I mean, is she serious about... I don't know, Forrest, but we don't really have a choice, do we? If she's telling the truth... Damn this song thumping. Then why don't you go and get it? It's one of Reggie's K Fam regulations. I can't leave Reggie's the, the killer. On air. Peggy. Just Reggie's the killer. It, okay? Fine. You're a good man, Forrest. 
I'll slide you the key to the fire door. The fan talking to me? <laughs> wait, wait. Our fire door has to be unlocked? Yeah, it... Uh... You know, I never thought about it, but... Yeah. We should talk to Reggie about that later. Anyway, I'll hold the fort down while you're out. Maybe I'll even get a caller. That could be exciting. 189.16. The Screw. With me, Peggy. Yeah, that key now, right? Now that you had your moment, did it feel good? Did it feel good to do that? Like, oh my god. Is that this key or the bottom one? This is the bottom one. I don't think that door exists. I really want to go on the roof. I don't know if y'all have noticed. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is where it started. This is where the game started. Where? I gotta stay focused. You know, I hope she'll be happy when I'm brutally murdered by the whistling man. Out here. In the open. No, the, oh, he's oh. right there. No, he's right there, y'all. Here it is. Long run There's home. no shift. There's no shift. Of course. It locks behind oh, you. Oh, there's and no of shift. He doesn't work on this side. Fantastic. Maybe there's another way back in through the basement. A Did I drop the record? Elevator or something. Or I just have it, right? I just have it. Because I, I picked it up and now I don't have it, but I got scared. I didn't drop it, did I? Looks like I'm going to have to hunt around for some new fuses. Oh, I did see a fuse earlier on everything I did. I promise I better not get clapped if I take too long. That's not really the, the type of game that it seems like. I'll be looking in trash cans and all types of dumb shit. Okay, these. Hella flies. Okay. Oh, look, two fuses right there. Oh, me. That's all of them. I don't know if it's faster to do this, but to my brain, sometimes it feels like it would be. Probably the same amount of time either way. I'm sorry. Is there like a specific one it needs? It says 30 on it. Nah, that's not right. Do the fuses add up properly? Like I'm gonna have to hunt around for some new fuses. Oh, 
All of those fuses said 30, though. The ones that I pulled out? That's not a fuse. That just has fuse on it. Just don't... I don't... I don't think I should die or have a jump scare right here. Just, just let me play the game. Okay. There's the A30s. There's the A30s. So... Do I put those old ones back in? Shit says 70 on it. Thirty. Fifty. That's not enough. That's only sixty. Bingo. I'm an idiot. I tried both of the green ones at first. Wait, where did that open? Oh, hello. How is this the way to work? I could probably survive that fall. That fall? Bro, I was already in the room before you said that, I promise. I can't see. I can't even see Looks that like closet. The janitor's closet. What did Peggy say his name was? Clive. What the hell? Peggy is not going to believe this. I'm not liking this. Ooh, there's a key. I'll just take that. Might be important. Clyde has been plotting. Maybe all the sinks just do that. I really brought the wrench to that one sink because I thought that was a thing. We're good, right? That's it? Maybe, I don't- I don't think I'd take this poster, but I, I guess I can. Maybe not. It just went back. Okay. Just making sure. Getting all stinky for no, absolutely no reason. Just making, making sure. Are those flies? Those are. I wonder how the show's going. I'm, I'm more curious about this down here. Okay. That just fucking... You guys, I can't wait to watch that back. I'm over here like, where am I? Need the key. Okay, so whatever key I got goes in here. No? It's not opening. This one? We've been in here though. What was that key for? DJ booth. All right, 
right, let's go. I always feel like somebody watching me. Isn't that such a good song, folks? And now for... Jesus, Forrest, you've been gone for ages. I thought something had happened. Basically. Something did happen. Clive the janitor might be Clive the murderer. What? I'll start from the beginning. The, uh, the fire door. Had to put that song on, bro. They've been waiting for for years. She threw the whole record she outside the window and it landed perfectly on a mattress. Uh, because the basement's creepy as hell and I don't like standing around down there. Fair. All right, let's run through this again. We have a creepy board you found in a creepy basement made by our creepy janitor who you think is the creepy whistling man. In a way, she gaslighting yep. me. And on the creepy board are the names Chuck Brody, Kim Walker, Rebecca Allen, and Aunt Williams. Correct. And you think one of these people will be the whistling man's, Clive's, next target. That's right. And we've got to find them. You said there are four locations listed there, too. The hospital, the power station, the gas station, and the trailer park. Clive must think the target is at one of those locations. Forrest, you're going to have to figure out if any of the potential targets are at one of these locations tonight. Hit the button if you need any help. Hey, yo. Just throw me a fucking huge task right now here. Not really fucking with Peggy too much this episode. She's kind of pissing me off. Um. Power station. Like, okay, cool. That shit won't go over here? Okay, that's fine, I suppose. Um, got some work to do. I get it. I promise I don't. I promise I don't need that. Bro. Where the hell is the trailer park at? Okay, hold on, bro. She knows something for sure. Bro, I can't find any of these places. Where's the gas station? I'm the hospital, but like... I, I gotta hit this button. Talk to me. How's it going? Dog shit. Uh, it's not going well. I, I could use some help. Okay, let's review the basics. We need to work out uh, who the next target is. There's four locations, right? And four people. We need to figure out if anyone is at any of the four locations tonight. And if they are, we can call them and warn them. There must be some connections between the notes. That makes sense. Great. Need any more help? She wants me to be a detective and read all this? Okay. Kim Walker... Improv club. What the hell?
Okay. So they could they could have all gotten hired at the power station. Former Gallows High School Captain Chambers. Um doesn't do shit. this shit supposed to add up? Oh, come on. This can't be real right here. Yeah, nah. Yeah, nah. Uh, yes, please. Sure. I think you should be methodical with this. Try grouping the notes by who they're about. That's you could I also have a look at do. the dates and make a timeline. I guess. Maybe that will help rule out potential targets first. Got it. Thanks, Peggy. No problem. What does it say? Local doctor killer uh, recommends get their flu shot. 84. This is older. 87 is the oldest. 86. 69. Okay, so we got the 69 bullshit over here. What year is this? 77. Put that there. Let's say 72.
Investigators blame two engineers that were contracted in from the local power station. Lead engineer Aunt Williams. That's wait, that's the name of that bitch. Okay, 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 hold on. And junior engineer Sean Everett. Okay, so it's just Aunt Williams right there. Okay. So. Aunt Williams at the power station. Disc. Disc. I don't Okay, so Chuck Brody Chuck Brody Hospital, right? Cuz he's he, he got fucked up from the festival shit Seven, that's got to be the last shit. What is this? 87 also the last 86 86 86 Fucking 70 Hey, excuse me. Okay, um I don't know if Kim Walker is the hospital. Wouldn't Kim Walker be the or wouldn't Kim Walker be the trailer park because they're married? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, hold on. Going down to the yearly convention. Get started in a career in health and safety advertising or advising. So, yo, Germany, thank you so much for the gifted sub and the sub player. I appreciate you. Welcome. Let's, um, that's with the festival, no? And that's Chuck Brody. Post a note I'm missing. Oh. have finally put an end to the long running car thieving uh, crime arrests are made Informant. 
так. What about that downstairs room? I think everything in that downstairs room is on this wall now. Because none of the, this wall wasn't even here. And I wanted to bring this poster. Now it's here with all this stuff. Wait. Wait. Oh, I said Kim because of that because they just got married. Okay. This is this is trippy. This is trippy. I don't know if any of y'all know or if y'all have any advice, but like I'm kind of not like stuck, but like I don't know. Twenty four hour gas station bought by local X lottery winner. Um, local engine takes to Manhattan, infamous author, diary, blah, blah, blah. Oh, wait, moves out of Gallows Creek for a new life in the big city. She stole our cars and then she stole our time and money. Jim Randy. Well, they're saying she. They ain't paying me to do shit. They ain't paying me to do shit. And I'm about to get all four people bodied, but I feel like this is the whole game. So it's like, I might as well just sit here and figure it out if I can. I'm just still kind of confused. I'm gonna hit that button again. How's it going? Dog shit. Uh, it's not going well. I could use some help. Okay, let's review the basics. Ain't no way she's gonna tell we me the same to two clues. Out who the next target is. There's four locations, right? And four people. We need to figure out if anyone is at any of the four locations tonight. And if they are, we can call them and warn them. There must be some connections between the notes. That makes sense. Great. Need any more help? And like... Is Rebecca Allen in the newspaper article on the right? One of these? See, I thought that, bro. I saw her face. Okay, let's go, Maddie Smith. That's her face. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So she's the gas station. Which would leave Kim Walker for the trailer park, and that's what I thought, because that's Kim Walker. Okay. Okay. Let me just double check this. Let me double check this. I don't know why I thought... Why did I say Chuck was in the hospital? Oh, it's right here.
Ant Williams is the engineer that's this dude that killed him. Why I'm I'm conf with Chuck Brody. I'm confused. Where's his clues and shit? I can't find anything on Chuck Brody right now. Oh, it's this. Okay, so... Kim Walker flu shot. Kim Walker has to be... Kim Walker has to be the... Oh, hell no. Put that right back. I think Chuck is the gas station. It said, wait, okay, hold on, let's see. the car theft shit have to go with the trailer park? Look at this. Tyler Wallace? Whoever I know, Rebecca wrote Diary of a Car Thief, which is mentioned in the local legend, takes Manhattan article. Okay, yeah, okay, I'm, I'm seeing that, I'm seeing that. Okay, hold on. So, so, 
is isn't isn't Rebecca Isn't Rebecca the trailer park then? I don't Chuck won the lottery from the donations and bought the gas station. He won the lottery tickets because he got all of that. But, like, where's the... The gas station gets bought by Chuck. Okay, perfect. I knew Rebecca had to be the trailer park. There's no way it wouldn't work otherwise. And then that makes him... He bought the gas station, so boom, boom. And then I feel like it can... I feel like these two have to be like this because... Flu shot Kim. So it's like hospital. And then it literally says bro was the dude who like messed up. So he had to be like building something. This has to be it. I'm good now. Thanks, Peggy. No problem. How's it going? I'm ready, Peggy. Are you sure? We've only got one shot at yeah, this. Yeah, because I'm gonna do the best I can. I'm sure. Let's do That's this. That's the end of it. Okay. Name first. Who do you think the target is? I didn't think she was gonna go there. I didn't think she was gonna go there. I didn't think she was going to go there. So let's break it down, right? Let's break it down, right? Uh -uh. This is when paying attention to the lore really helps, right? Okay. This is way too much. They're asking me who do we think the killer is right now? Who, who has the most reason to be killing? I don't think Kim Walker does. I don't think Kim Walker does. Aunt Williams might want to kill because he like, didn't he like lose his job or some shit? He, he's responsible. He shouldn't want to kill. He shouldn't want to kill. Oh, who's the next target? Thank God, bro. Cause I was like, I thought these guys weren't the fucking su Oh, thank God. Okay. Me personally, I got confused for two seconds, y'all. I'm not going to act like that uh, didn't happen just now. But I'm just really, like, pleased to know that now we're back on the same page. Okay. Uh, next person to die. Next person to die. It's one of the dudes. Probably Chuck. Chuck. I feel like Chuck. I'm just gonna say Chuck. I got no wrong, no. Chuck Brody. And where will I find them? Uh, no, yeah, uh, gas station. The gas station. Okay, I'm dialing. One moment. 
I haven't gotten anybody killed yet. Everyone survived oh, so far. Chuck Brody, listen, I know this sounds crazy, but we have reason to believe the whistling man is coming for you. You need to get yourself and everyone else out right now. The whistling man? Who the hell are you? Who is this? This is Boris Nash. Listen, the whistling man's back. We found a list with your name on it and... Oh God, it's today. I finally let myself forget. I forget. For, forget what? Forget. No, no, man. I gotta get out of here. Then go. I just wanted to know. I, I think he ran off. Well, fingers crossed that Chuck. He's using bombs now? I... I... Is Chuck? I don't know. Hang on. We're getting a call. Hello? Chuck? Chuck! He survived! Chuck! The whole goddamn gas station's gone up. Is anyone hurt? I don't think so. I got everyone to follow me out. The town's only ambulance was blown to hell, though. Yeah. Damn it, that fireball threw me. I've got to get to the hospital. I'm not feeling great. Forrest, man, I can't thank you enough, but yeah, I gotta go. Wait, I, damn it, we lost him. What was okay. that today? Oh, Forrest, the call board is lighting up. Get us into some music while I deal with this. Careful with this next track, listeners. It's dynamite. Forest. Oh, I oh I didn't know. Right? Got places to be. No, there we're not even on air right now. There's gotta be more in the basement to show us who Clive is targeting. And if that's the case, we can get ahead of him. Stop the killings before they can happen. You're trash the way you're switching sides all of a sudden, down. Peggy. By we, you mean me, right? Yep. Like I said, I need to handle all these calls. Maybe start with that creepy mannequin room you mentioned before. I still have a lot of questions about those, by the way. Me too. Me too. All right. All right, whatever. Um... Imagine I got clapped right there. Locked. For now. Like, bro, are you serious? Go in the mannequin room. Wait, I don't think I went here. Oh, yeah, it's locked. Is this always here? I must have missed it when I brought everything upstairs. I literally grabbed the key. Also, where is it if I'm like not gonna get cooked for saying that? Like, where is it? Trying to give her a, a hug. Um, is it this person? 
Nah, I don't think so. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this arm, but... out of here. I knew that was there the whole time. I was just having a good time. Just, you know, seeing 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 if if I was going to get like an easter egg or something using that item. Here we go. Peggy, give me some warning before yelling down the intercom. Sorry. Hmm? What have you found? Buzz the intercom when you find something and want to discuss it. I think I need to keep looking. All right then. Buzz the intercom when you find something and want to discuss it. Peggy, I've found a tape and a map down here. A map of what? Looks like it might be to somewhere in this storage area. Weird. Well, maybe the tape will give us more information. Give it a play. Where? Where'd the tape player get played at? I'm not walking all the way upstairs. Oh, this thing. Clive, give it a rest. George Barrow? We all heard that he drowned after a night out drinking. Was it actually Clive? Has Clive really been the whistling man for that long? He says I need to follow the maps and find the tapes. I guess that's what this map is about. Hmm. I think we need to see what else is hidden down here. Be careful, Forrest. Keep looking. Buzz the intercom when you found something. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. Maybe we could buzz for this. Do you think you found everything for us? Oh, not everything. There's got to be more down here. Uh, I need to find all the tapes. You think so? How much did Clive hide down there? Well, if there are more tapes, then there must be more maps to follow, right? That seems to be the case. All right, then. Buzz the intercom when you find something and want to discuss it. That's what I, I wanted to discuss it. I wanted to discuss it. And then you said, you sure that's everything? Uh, I just wanted to check in. Hello? No, it's not everything. Look at this fucking shithole down here. Here we go. Oh, wait, hold on. Where's that at? This? Time of autopsy is 7 a.m. Cause of death is asphyxiation from drowning. The degree of rigor mortis indicates that the subject has been deceased for five hours. That puts the time of death... I'm keeping this paper for sure. Hold on. Uh, they didn't. Okay. The Woodside. Okay. Our radio station. Client opted for manual installation. Well, 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 Clive. You sly dog. That's crazy. Yeah, wait. M let me look at the other names of the businesses that were on there. Hospital. 
Wow. Wow. We're last. Great. This is a radio station building. Preliminary toxicology results shows no signs of inebriation. However, a high amount of cortisol was found, indicating elevated levels of stress in the immediate moments before death. to arms, legs, and face, typically obtained by running through foliage, severe blistering to the feet, as though the deceased had been running without stopping. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. I haven't found this one yet. I can remember that. That seems pretty obvious. I'll find this one. Additionally, there appears to be a post-mortem injury to the arm. It looks like it was trapped in a car door. Clive is a dirty dog. Uh, abrasions were found um, on his knuckles, likely from getting into fights in the past. Matches with known uh, history to deceased being aggressive. No other injuries were found. I need you do this. Additionally, the preliminary toxic. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Wow. I think I'm missing something. All right, like I passed one. Oh, it's this one. If you're listening to this, then I'm probably Ooh. dead. A new vinyl for my collection. I'm no, I just stay informed. I've got subscriptions to newspapers all over the country. A few weeks ago, I noticed headlines cropping up in those papers, one after the other. Each headline about a murder. Each murder, the death of someone I knew almost 20 years ago. And each one drawing closer to Gallows Creek. Drawing closer to the anniversary. None of us are innocent. But I don't think we deserve killing. All I hope now is that I can save some folk from the worst. And I can. I don't know. Do something to make up for what I did back then, I guess. I didn't kill anyone, mind you. But that's past mattering. Now, there's more I could say than I should say. But my employer made it clear that my family would pay a high price if I ever spoke out. So, hopefully I've said enough. 
What the hell? Wow. He's not gonna believe this. If we make it back, if we make it back. I don't think I found that one. That's it, right? I don't... Oh, wait. I thought that was uh, one of the Polaroids right there. What have you found, Forrest? It's an autopsy tape. Doesn't say for who, but... I think it must be for George. Poor George. He was so young. Something's bugging me, Peggy. What do you mean? I swear I recognize the voice of the woman talking on the tape. I just can't place it. Seriously? Do you think you've met her before? I don't know. I mean, I just got here recently. I don't know. Found another tape. It talks more about how George died. What did it say? It sounds like he was running for his life. Sprinting through trees and bushes, getting cut up all over. Drive someone to do that. I'm not sure yet. There's also a tape about a toxicology report. There were no signs of drinking or that he was on anything. What? But everyone said he went swimming drunk and drowned. It was in the newspaper and everything. Oh my god, I have the autopsy. I found a autopsy report. Thank what you. According to that, it's just like you said at the start. George drowned after getting drunk. Said he liked to fight too. Contradicts the tape. I know, and I think I know why. There's a note with a report that says, I'm sorry I made you do this, Virginia. If it was on the autopsy report, then Virginia must be our coroner. Mm. Wait, the caller from earlier, when we had to call the takeout restaurant, wasn't her name Virginia? Oh, I don't remember. <sighs> if only she had made it. Then we might have learned more about what's going on. I found a tape that introduces a new detail to the story. Post-mortem injury. Apparently, his arm got caught in a car door. A car door? Yeah, after he died. How do you suppose they can tell? How can they tell? I'm a radio producer, not a coroner. Oh, then let me back up. I don't like this basement with this eerie the same sound. conclusion as I did. George was running from something. Maybe an animal? Maybe... Then there's this next bit, where the coroner thinks he was moved post-death. Moved the body? How weird. At the end of the tape, someone burst in and demanded Virginia stop recording. I, I think it was Clive. 100% it was Clive. It's starting to make sense now. This, this is a conspiracy to cover up what happened to George. I, um, I think I found Clive's last recording. I think Clive might be gone. Gone? I found a confession. Not for any killings, but for playing a part in covering up George's death. He left this behind in case he died. He hoped someone would find it. You... Do you think the Whistling Man already got him? Possibly. We've had a lot of callers tonight, but... Maybe not every victim made it to the phone, you know? We don't know how many there really are. Christ, Forrest, that's dark. I know, but Clive said he had read about other murders in other towns, and that the murders were all folks who knew about the incident. And the killings were getting closer to Gallows Creek. He said he wanted to do something good for once. The board in his office. He wasn't tracking people down to kill them. He was tracking them down to save them. Ugh. Why didn't he just come out with all of this? Uh, he said his employer threatened his family if he spoke out about any of it. His employer? The one who 
orchestrated the cover-up? Oh, Clive. I'm sorry for thinking you'd killed all those people. Do you think you found everything? Uh, I think so. Forrest, what's going on here? Someone wanted that boy's death to seem like an accident. And they hired Clive to make it look that way. Uh, come back upstairs when you're ready. We need to figure out our next step. Ay, ay, ay. Now it's 3 a.m. God, you're back, Forrest. I've been running out of stuff to pad our airtime with. Peggy, you work in radio. Forrest, I'm stressed. I mean, really. How are we supposed to keep a show going with all this happening? Beats me. But we gotta do it and we're going to. <sighs> you're right. So, what's the plan now? I got to play this new album I got. Maybe we could have called Sandra. See what she knew. Man, Sandra don't know shit. I'm sorry we didn't save her. It's not your fault. Ooh! Looks like we got a call coming in. Welcome to 189.16 The Scream. With me, your host, Forrest Nash. Hi, Boris. I know this is really out of the blue with everything happening tonight. But I wondered if you could send this special birthday message to my uncle. No, I don't wanna. Oh, come on! It's, it's, his it's the pizza guy. I won't have a chance to do it again. It's the pizza guy. Will. May as well, Forrest. Uh, fine. What's his name? Thank you, Boris. He's my Uncle Ronnie. His first name's Peter, but he never liked his name. But since he always had salt and pepper hair, even as a kid, can you believe it? Folks always called him Pepper. Uh, thanks for the history lesson. Is there anything besides happy birthday you'd like to say to Mr. Pepper? Oh my God damn it! Yes! Tell him he can get the best birthday deals and party packages here at Pony's Pizza. Start hanging to- You son of a bitch! Stop I calling. told him no, bro. Damn it, Peggy. I knew this it, bro. I heard his voice and My I was like, fault. I know who this jackass I said is. I didn't want to do it. Don't blame me because Brian Ponty can't control himself. <sighs> Hang up Don't faster. Worry. We've already got another caller on the line. Just pick it up, okay? Just pick it up, okay? I picked up the last one. Hang up faster, please. I'm trying to hit some buckets. Oh, wow. I suppose I should take this call. This is 189.16, The Scream. I'm Forrest Nash. You're on the air, caller. Oh, here we go. Lock in. Caller. Ponty. Ponty's pizza always delivered. Fucking hang it up. Hang it up. Hang it up. Hang it up. What are you still doing? Forrest? Forrest? Are you okay? Forrest? Like turning into the hole? I hope. The whistling man gets in with his own pizza slicer. I'm not mad Jesus, at that statement. Forrest? I'm not mad at that Sorry. statement. Sorry, that was that was too much. Forrest, that was light. It's okay. It's been a high stress night. Don't worry about him anymore, okay? Not for tonight, anyway. I guess I you're think right. He's spent for now. We've got another call. Whenever you're ready. Peggy's. She's talking crazy, folks. Don't spend your money at Pawnee's Pizza. That's all I'm going to say about that. Mm, moving along, I'd like to welcome another caller to 189.16, The Scream, with me, Forrest Nash. Who, may I say, is calling? Well, hello again, Forrest. Don. Don? We played your song, Long Ride Home. Did you hear it? Can you tell us? Uh, never mind that now. Forrest, I'm calling I need your help. Okay. Are you in danger? Oh, I sure am. Do you mean... Yes, he's after me now. You? I think so. He must have heard me on the radio helping you. 
So you call back? Right. Okay. Tell us everything. I was out following a lead, trying to work out who would be next. After Chuck. And what happened? And I started to feel like I was being followed. I came back to my apartment building, but this newfangled I don't trust her either. has me locked out. I need you to help me get inside. I have the key, but she's acting a little sus. Can you go somewhere else? Well, home is the safest place I can be. Please, the front gate requires an entry code to open. I need that code to get inside. Which apartment block do you live in? Maybe one of our listeners lives there too. It's the New Woodside apartment building between Town Hall and the trailer park. But I doubt any of your listeners live there. I don't have many neighbors. Sounds like a prime piece of real estate. The sound really carries at night. <laughs> Shit. I could give her the alarm test. I'm guessing you're not a dog person. No, I'm not. It's my neighbor's dog. Boy, I wish he'd muscle that thing in. Oh. And now he's blasting David Scopo out of his window. Listen, I can't get any... He's coming down the street. What's the name of the security system? Uh, there's a sticker on the box. It says Starling Security 4000. There's a keypad, and it looks like it wants a, a six digit number. Six digits. Sounds like that would be hard to remember. Yes, very hard, especially on a night like this. Yeah, of course. Don't worry, Don. Thank you. Don't worry, y'all. I'm I'm sending her the test alarm. I'm just giving her the the I'll the wrap around, if you will. Call me back soon. All right, folks. Here's a little tune for you all to enjoy, while I try to break Dawn into her apartment. You were pretty quiet there, Peggy. Forrest, was it just me, or was there something? Yeah, it wasn't just you. Something was weird about that. Yeah. Well, tell you what, we have a Starling 4000 or whatever here at KFAM. Clive bought one for the station. Maybe we can find something to help. Well, I'm not sure who, but to help someone. You know what's crazy is that if I didn't grab this book, I would have to go through the whole fucking building <sighs> okay, and find it so again. She's locked out of the Woodside Apartments and somewhere Clive probably has the papers for the Starling 4000. Welcome back, Forrest. Find anything? Nothing by way of key codes. I see. I'll look again. Any ideas, Peggy? Dawn says she's stuck outside the Woodside Apartments with the whistling man nearby. She's locked out because of some new security system. Yeah, the Starling 4000. Right, and we had the same security system delivered here. Clive was going to install it, so check the basement. I'd guess that's where Clive would have stuff like that. Thanks, Peggy. No problem. Don't take too long. Starling 4000, user manual. Ah, these codes should come in handy. Welcome back, Forrest. Find anything? The Starling 4000 security. Exactly manual. what I need, actually. It's got a bunch Interesting. Of codes. Good. And did you find anything else? Nothing except the manual. All right. Well, I'll get Dom back on the line then. Oh, Forrest. maybe there was more, but that's okay. Here. Thanks, Peggy. When you're ready, shut the music off. Line one, whenever you're ready. Don, are you there? This is Forrest Nash from 189.16, The Scream. Oh, thank God you're back. I've been so afraid. Yeah, my I'm alarm's downstairs, I think. Why isn't there the one that I want to give her available? 
Where's the alarm test? Not... Oh, activation. I read deactivation. The code is 191519. Thank you, Forrest. Oh my gosh, let's I'm go, Rick. The cops. Well, thank God. Hello? Is someone there? Ricky, get back inside and turn on the radio. Whoever that was, she was trying to break into the ring. She? Forrest, man, you got no idea. That was him. That was the whistling man. The alarm gave me just enough time to get my rifle. I don't like hurting folk, but I can't let anything happen to Maxie. He's my best friend, you know? I... Listen, man, I'm heading back inside. I'm gonna barricade that window. My man, thank you. You and Peggy can skate for free whenever you want, forever. That's a done deal. Wow. I... Thanks, Ricky. Can't wait. You got it. Talk to you soon. Okay, Gallows Creek. Here's some music while we process what just happened. So, the whistling man is a woman? I know. I... I can't believe it. She called up. You spoke to her multiple times. I knew she wasn't right. Is that right, Sherlock? Yeah, she was Why sketchy as fuck! she requested that song? To get me outside? Maybe, but how? She didn't know the song was outside to start with. That's right. She never actually attacked me out there. So? What now? I guess I should make an announcement. We do have new info. Peggy the killer? Okay, kill the music and you can make the announcement. Okay, you're live in three, two... Hey folks, this is Forrest Nash here. I hope you're all safely locked inside. For those of you listening to that last call, you might be wondering what to make of it all. Here's our take. We now believe the killer is actually a woman, one who might manipulate you into letting her in before she attacks you. We're neighbors. Look out for each other and stay safe. The killer was calling themselves Dawn. This could be a fake name. If anyone needs help or you have info on the killer, please call in. You folks have my new number, right? It's 911. Boo. Hopefully our next caller can help shed some light on our killer. Hey, we had a call come in. Okay, folks, time to take a call. This is Forrest Nash and you're listening. Please help me. My name is Casey Moore. Oh gosh. I'm at 25 Nancy Drive. My best friend's been stabbed. He's He's bleeding everywhere. I don't know what to do. Please help me. Is he still breathing? Yeah, but, but he's bleeding out fast. I really need help. Please. Take a breath. We've been out at the reservoir. We were heading back to his place when we heard this whistling all of a sudden. He just started freaking out. He screamed at me, told me to hide. I'd never seen him like that. And I, I just panicked and ran and hid in a bush. Oh no, Forrest. Then what happened? He went up the road and talked to someone. I couldn't really hear or see anything. It sounded like he might have known the person. And they just stabbed him. What the hell? Casey, was he talking to a woman? I don't know. Oh, they Casey. Had a mask and wore all black. That's all I know. Please, we need help here. I'll get you help, but I need to know. 
Where did the masked person go? They left! They left him to bleed out! I waited until they were gone, then dragged him into the garage and called 911. Wait, why didn't she make sure he was dead? was destroyed in the explosion at the gas station. You should get all the info you can. That's not good. What's your friend's name, Casey? It's Jason. Jason Parker. Can you tell us where Jason was stabbed? They stabbed him in the stomach and then stabbed him again in his leg when he was on the ground and it's... Oh, the knife is still there in his leg. We'll be right back. Peggy, patch us through to the hospital. On it. Phoning St. Gabriel's now. Switch to line two. Hello, St. Gabriel's Hospital. How can I help you? Hi, this is Forrest Nash from 189.6. Don't do this, bro. It's the fucking <clears throat> hospital. A stab victim at 25 Nancy Drive named Jason Parker. He's been stabbed in the stomach and the leg. He's bleeding heavily. Oh, God, I'm sorry. But the ambulance is... Well, you know. I know, but please, we need something or he's going to die. Forrest, I... Listen, you're going to have to get him here. We need to see him, and we can't get there ourselves right now. We don't have any way to drive him right now. Right? And even if we did, he's bleeding out Y'all have that covered? All right, listen. We need to buy him time to get here. That means stopping the blood first, and then finding someone to stabilize him. To stabilize him, you really need someone with first aid training. Do either of you have any? No. None. Me neither. Uh, I don't have any I, police training really either, and that didn't stop this, me, though. I have other patients who can't wait. All I can do is talk you through the procedure as quick as I can, and then leave the rest to you. You think you can handle that? We don't really have much choice. Like, literally. Hit me. Okay, from the top. If he's bleeding out, then you need to get him comfortable and try to stem the bleeding. Lay him down. Apply continuous pressure directly to the affected areas. When the bleeding slows, get a clean cloth of some kind and hold it over the wounds. Get them comfortable. Oh, you're so Apply slow, Peggy. I'm, I'm already got it. I already got it. Clean cloths when slowed. Got it. I think. You said he was stabbed, right? If the object he was stabbed with is still in him, don't leave it in him. It we out. know that. It's stopping the worst of the bleeding right now. If anything, you should secure it so it stays where it is. I wouldn't have thought of that. It makes sense, though. Are you dumb? God, that was a lot of info. But I think we can handle this. Glad you got it so far, because there's more to go. I'm still with you, Doc. What else do we need to know? If he's lost a lot of blood, he may enter shock. If he does, act fast. If you apply the cloth and it's bleeding through, don't remove it. Just apply another on top of it. If it's safe, elevate his legs to get blood circulating to his vital organs. Try to keep him warm. Get him to rest and reassure him. We need the patient to stay calm. All right, uh, don't replace bandages, elevate his legs, keep him warm and calm. This is a lot. I'm really sorry. That's as much as I can give you right now. Nah, this town Try sucks. To Find this whole town to get sucks. And get him here as quick as you can. Good luck. All right, Forrest. Casey's still on line one. Hello? Hello? All right, here Forrest, we go, are you bro. There? I'm an experienced nurse now, Casey. Stay calm. How's Jason doing? I'm here. How is Jason doing? Badly. He's still bleeding. I right, know. right, right. Calm down, Casey. Talk to me through it. Come on, but Casey. He's still bleeding. I don't know what to do. Hold on. I need That's to play good, this song Casey. real quick. The nurse said Forgot to do that. There. What about the knife in his leg? It's got to be hell. Should I pull it out? Uh, no, don't touch the knife. No, don't touch the knife. The bleeding will get worse if you pull it out. Are you sure? I'm sorry. I'm gonna stop making suggestions. No, don't worry, Casey. We're a team here. We're all going to get Jason through this. Casey, is his leg wound bleeding right now? I hate looking at that knife. Y yeah, yeah. It's bleeding. His stomach is worse, though. I think we need to secure the knife so it doesn't move around. Do you have anything you can tie around it? Uh, yeah. There's some laundry piled up on top of the dryer. 
some clothes on the hood of the car, and what else? Oh my god. I guess I've got my jacket. You should use the jacket, right? Because we, we need to use the rags for the other thing, right? You're not supposed to use the rags on the bleeding out, right? Or I... I like, the rags are for, like, after, right? You gotta, you gotta use this. You gotta use this. Sorry about this, Casey. I think it's best we use your jacket. It's probably less likely to bleed through. It's just a jacket. Give me a second. Yeah. Here we go. Okay, Jason. I'm sorry, Jason. Sorry to hear that, but I'd love it's to hear you're alive, buddy. I put pressure on his stomach again. Oh, I'm starting to think we might make it. Forrest, can I have a word? Casey, I'm going to have a quick word with Peggy. Keep putting that pressure on and let us know when the bleeding is under control. You're doing great. But what if something happens? Right. We'll still be here. Just shout if you need anything. And we'll be there. I promise. Okay. I'll wait. Jason, please be okay. What's up, Peggy? We can't stay on the line with her all night. Dawn is still out there. What if other people need us? Oh, shut it. <sighs> You're right. She's probably on her way to her next target right now. Exactly. And you heard the nurse. We need someone there with training who can stabilize him. He's got to get to the hospital somehow. She said there was a car there. I know she doesn't know how to drive, but we may not have Excuse a choice. Excuse me. Forrest, that's a terrible idea. You got a better idea? Hurting Jason. Ain't she no cops to arrest her right now. Like, killed. fuck it. Don't suppose you have any ideas then? I might. A little before you started working here, KFAM did a mandatory first aid training course. Me and Karen missed it because we were away on a producer getaway. Wow. You skipped it, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I, never mind. So, how does KFAM's first aid course help us? Casey said they're at 25 Nancy Drive, right? Yeah. Why? They put up a bunch of cheap houses around there about 10 years ago. So a bunch of people here at the station live around there. Do you think any of them could help Casey and Jason? Probably. But I don't know who lives there. And since I missed the training day... I don't know who knows first aid. Could you call them and ask? I don't know everybody's numbers. I've only ever called Karen. Everybody's personnel info is probably in Reggie's office. Got it. I'll look through their files in Reggie's office. It's a life or death situation. I'm sure they won't mind. Right. But there are a couple of problems Oh my with that. god. <sighs> it's sensitive information. So Reggie probably locked it in his safe. Great. Great. Do you have any idea what the combo for the safe could be? Not a clue. Reggie's a serial note taker, though. Maybe something in his office will give it away. Right. There is something else. Oh, I hate her. I can't do this, y'all. I'm not going to like this, am I? Have you ever heard the future is floppy? Fuck that Peggy, thing. What the hell are you talking about? I'm talking about floppy disks. Floppy disks are like these futuristic things that have information on them. You put them in a computer oh, and they do something. Oh my gosh, Peggy, right now. I know what a floppy disk is. Dude. Anyway, Reggie decided that the future is floppy and started phasing out our physical records and replacing them with these floppy disks. I imagine it's the same for our personnel files. That's good to know. Since we haven't heard anything from Casey, I'm Thanks guessing... Thanks for that useless okay shithole for information. I'll check out Reggie's office and see what I can find. You'll need a key for that. I'll just slide it under my door. I'm so tired of Thanks, you Peggy. sliding <sighs> keys through the I'll door. Just have to look around. Let me through. There's nothing. I'll patch my mic down to the office so you'll hear me over the intercom. Oh, God. I was fucking hoping I could hear your wonderful tone in my ear the whole time I'm looking for that. And I'm blessed. Wow. It's going to happen. I don't even know where Reggie's office is. Peggy sucks. You should have named this game Do What Peggy Says, bro. Because it's like, oh my gosh.
Looks like I need a four digit code. I'm not hitting that intercom yet, bro. Can't hear her dumbass voice yet. this be it? Eleven zero seven? Is that the coat? No, there's another one right there. Okay. I think it is 1107. Hey Peggy, you there? Yeah, I'm here. Did you find what we need? I can't figure out how to get into this stupid safe. Probably right. I'll let you know when I find something, or don't. Nice. Uh, I can't lose these. These are super important. I'm in, Peggy. I found the floppy disks. Just put it in the slot, right? You got it. Remember, we need somebody with medical training who lives near 25 Nancy Drive. Let me know when you've got somebody. And don't waste time on anybody that can't help us. For some reason, I feel like one of the... One of the drives didn't land over here, but, uh... Really, really hoping they did. this shit out we don't need that one here we go first one in nancy drive medical that scared the fucking shit out of me that scared the fucking hell out of me nancy drive this is it john hedges i got lucky i got the first one I don't even want to go through it. John Hedges. Hey, Peggy, you there? Yeah, I'm here. Did you find what we need? I think I know who our best bet is to help Casey and Jason. All right, good work. Who should I... Hello? Is anybody there? Please pick up. Casey, I'm here. What's wrong?
There's no way they're gonna hit me with this in the middle of my fucking quiz, bro. God, it sounds like he's going into shock. Casey, just stay calm. It's going to be okay. But the bleeding seemed to slow down. Did I mess up? Jason, I'm sorry. Casey, calm down. You've done everything right. I, I need you to listen to me, okay? For Jason. What did the nurse say to do about shock? Elevate the legs. Elevate the legs, right? Yeah. Casey, I need you to elevate Jason's legs. We need to get the blood flowing to his vital organs. Got it. Stay. Let's go. Stay with me. I'm just gonna move My mother you. as a nurse will be proud right now. Peggy, shut the fuck. We need to get Jason as warm and comfortable as possible. Do you have anything you could use Does he have a Snuggie anything? nearby? Yeah. I still have some laundry next to me. I'll wrap him in some blankets. There you go. Just give me a second. Mm. Uh, uh. Sorry. Sorry. Jason's bleeding through his bandages. Sh should I get him new ones? Or... Oh, God. Apply an additional bandage. I think they said let it bleed through. They don't. You don't replace it. You apply more. Don't remove the bandage. Apply another one on top of it. Do you still have something you can use? I'm using the laundry to keep it warm. So I'll use the cleaning rags on the car. They don't look dirty. It better not be. I'll fix the bandage. I and get it warm. Hold on, please. Oh. Hold on, please. Is, uh, am I on the phone with AT and T? Jason is going to be fine. Just make sure he knows he's going to be okay. Okay? Okay. Please. I can't give him what he needs. Please do. I can't believe All right, Forrest. We need to hurry. Jason doesn't sound like he's doing too well. You said you knew who to call earlier? Who was it? Oh, fuck. No, I, st I still think it's the first guy. I still think it's uh, the first guy. I'm just double checking, bro. Yep, yeah, it's the first one. John, John something? Yeah, John. John Hedges. We need to call John Hedges. He lives on Nancy Drive. He didn't really participate in the first aid training, but he's a former war medic. He's probably the most trained person we have. Really? I never really spoke to him before. A war medic, huh? Yeah, and oh, really? according to yeah, Reggie's really? notes, John keeps all of his old equipment at his house. He's something of a hoarder. Five, four, two, zero, seven, three, five. Calling now. Let's help you pick. Uh, who the hell is this calling here? Bro, answers what in the middle of the up? night. John, the it's ring. Forrest Nash here at KFAM. We have an emergency and we need your help. Forrest, if this is a work emergency, then it can wait until the goddamn morning. Just leave me a note like everybody else. John, no, the whistling man is back in town, or at least it's not important right now. A man has been stabbed, and we need you to help him. The whistling man? What kind of joke is this? John, we're not kidding. A man is going to die if we don't help him right now. Seriously, I, I haven't been called on for over 10 years. Oh, my God. Wake up, bro. Where's the patient? What's his condition? 
He's at 25 Nancy Drive. I think we got his friend to stem the bleeding, but he's gone into shock. He's passed out right now. You say he was stabbed? Do you know the extent of his injuries? From what we were told, he has two major stab wounds. One to the stomach and one to the leg. The knife is still in his leg, and the stomach wound is open. Understood. Let me grab a few supplies and I'll head right over. Damned if he dies on my watch. Thank you, okay, John. Okay, John. We'll let him know you're on your way. Lock it down, John. Hello, Casey. Hey, John, lock are it down, there? John. How are we doing? What about now? Is he still thrashing? He's passed out. Please tell me you found someone to help. Casey, help is on the way. My colleague will be there soon. You hear that, Jason? Someone is coming. You're gonna be just fine. Just hold on for me, okay? Just hold on. Come on. Hello, Casey. This is John Hester. I'm here about Jason. Please let me in. And with that, the show moves on. We're sending our best wishes to Jason. There's no way. Well, after all that excitement, I think we could use some music. Uh, come back upstairs when you're ready. No words right now. No words, Peggy. It's getting pretty late. This might be your last break for the night, so try to enjoy it. All right, I was going to try and finish this all in the last episode. This one happened to be two hours. That's not a problem. I was trying to keep it at one hour and I was going to do two hours for the last special, but um, I'm going to end it right here because I think uh, there's at least maybe another hour. So, players, thank you so much for supporting the video. We will see y'all in the next part. I feel like... I feel like this game is definitely getting better as it's progressively going on. But in the beginning, I was like, bro, information overload. What do you want me to freaking do? But now, now that we're locked in, gathering our marbles, I'm feeling a lot better about it. Um, before I go ahead and leave this video, I want to go ahead and say I definitely have made more than 74 uh, paper ball baskets from the desk. Um, that's about it. I love y'all, and I will see y'all in the next episode. Peace out, players. <laughs>